Get in here. Get in here. Hey, and this was all. Hey, Brendan. Hey, this is Brendan Moylan. This is a man that's responsible for the breast fats, along with Jen. Went to grammar school with them. Saint Did you Cecilia. Say Saint Cecilia. The finest, the greatest, and the best. And the best. Hey everybody, it's Frank Gates with the Chili Gods and Sonoma County is in the house, right? Absolutely. We got Hen House in the house and they're out of Santa Rosa, but they used to be out of Petaluma. Can you guys tell us about the beer you guys brought today for this yeah, festival? Yeah, so uh, we brought one of our flagship beers. It's a Saison. It's brewed with black pepper and coriander. It's light, dry, crisp, a little bit of spice to it. Not over powerful, 5.5%. The other one's a rotating hop pale ale we've been doing. Uh, it really gives us a chance to interact with individual hops as opposed to all the hops at one time. Um, we've, been, we've been having a lot of fun with that one. It gets the same malt profile every time, but the hot profile is always different. Uh, this one has Hollertau Blanc and Calypso. It tastes like a fancy pineapple. 5.8%. Uh, it is very good beer. Oh, I like pineapple. And how long have you guys been brewing? Um, we've been brewing for a little over five years now. Um, we started uh, on a two-barrel system out of the back of a warehouse, and uh, we just actually moved into a 30-barrel system up in Santa Rosa. Nice. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We love to see the growth. And we're with Zippo here at Stone and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the new cans they've got and what beer that he brought here to the Breast Fest. Right on, yeah, we're hanging out in the Breast Fest in Marin County. I've got our year-round session IPA, the Stone Go-To IPA, and I've got our new summer seasonal uh, for 2016, the Stone Citrusy Wit. And we also have some brand new cans, like Frank was saying, and this one is the, the Stone Go-To IPA that's now available in a 16-ounce six-pack format. Hey everybody, it's Frank Yates, and we got Third Street Ale Works in the house, Sonoma County, Santa Rosa. And we got Tyler here, and can you guys tell us about the beer you brought for the festival? We uh, brought four beers today. We brought our Oh Snap Sour Red. Oh Snap, okay. It's a uh, kettle sour that's actually uh, soured using Greek yogurt. Oh, uh, interesting. It's a really clean sour. I was skeptical myself, but it came out really good, and it's been incredibly popular with our staff. Is that kind of uh, like one of those things where you got my peanut butter and your chocolate, and I chocolate and your peanut butter, and it just happened to come out really good? Hey everybody, it's Frank Yates once again. Uh, Santa Rosa is in the house, Sonoma County. We got Fog Belt, and what kind of beer do you guys bring? Uh, today we brought our Icarus Imperial Blonde, which is 8%, uh, refreshing, hoppy, amazing. And then we brought a Golden Sour. Ooh, a Golden Sour. Yeah, we just brewed it. They actually kegged it up just for me to bring today. Um, it sat for five months in Viognier barrels. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice, easy to drink. And then we brought an Apricot Goes. Uh, goza. Um, so a little hint of apricot, really light, easy to drink, perfect for a nice warm day. And we're here with Jay, and he's got a new brewery, been around three and a half years, Absolutely right? right, yeah. And uh, can you tell us about the beers you guys brought today for the festival? Yeah, we brought uh, two beers today. We brought IPA and we brought a grapefruit goza, uh, two different styles to share with everybody. Okay, and you guys, how did you start? What's your story? Uh, I was a home brewer in San Francisco uh, years ago. Uh, things went from pretty bad to uh, not that bad to pretty good. So we started uh, started making our own beer. Nice. So we, we've been making beer uh, commercially for about three and a half years. Sweet, and you guys are on Pine Street in Hyde? Yes, sir. And what kind of beer did you guys bring today? Uh, today we brought our Proving Ground IPA. It's a, uh, a West Coast style IPA. We use five or six different West Coast hops, but we also use a Maris Otter English malt as the backbone, so it really balances things out quite nicely. And our other, our other option today is our Alicia Bitter. It's a collaboration beer we did with the Academy of Science in San nice. Francisco. And we source all of the herbs, so it's, it's a botanical beer. We source all the herbs from the living roof at the Academy. So it's got yarrow, rose hips, sage, and um, um, blanket on the other one. But it's a really light, nice style that's it's kind of hard to come by. So this is Ramble on Rose. 
Ramblin' Rose. Yeah, so this is uh, Grateful Dead inspired. We've done it for the Breast Fest for a few years. It's uh, blueberries from the Stockton Delta and uh, rose hips and rose petals from our front yard. Nice! Yeah, and pink peppercorn. Sm so uh, small batches. It's soured one, one year in uh, red wine barrels. Wow. Lactobacillus. That's interesting. Yeah, it, we did 48 wine barrels this year. Wow, it's very refreshing. It almost tastes like a wine cooler. It's very similar so, to the wine quality, qualities to it, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit about the beers you guys make over there? So we do a lot of sour beers and uh, farmhouse style beers, uh, saisons and uh, open top fermented beers. Um, we try to brew within the seasons and um, and cook within them as well. So Nice, I've eaten at your restaurant before quite a few times. You guys got a great menu, great food. Uh, what's your favorite uh, thing on the menu? Oh, put me on the spot there. Our I bean, got to. Our bean cassoulet is unbelievable. Uh, it's one of those things that uh, the dish changes throughout the seasons. Um, we just got two new chefs, Tom and Bruce, and those guys are dynamite when it comes to cooking and cooking within the season. So uh, a lot of our food goes really well with our beer. Nice. And how long have you been in business? Uh, almost three years. So three years, August 3rd. We've got Kingsborough in the house. They're going to do one more song, the Breast Fest. Here we go. They're going to do one more. So let's check it out. Well, there you have it. Chili God's in the house with Kingsborough out of Sonoma County. Great festival, great time here at the Breast Fest 2016. We'll see you next year. That's the winning sauce right there. And why do you, why do you like the red The red so pepper good? sauce. It's got a good balance of spice. It's not too anything, but it's got good heat. Good flavor, not good too Good flavor, hot. yeah. Yeah, not okay. too any one pepper. Nice. It's good. The classic red. It's good. Well, thanks, Monica. Did you have fun today? Great day. Have you been here before? I have. You're going to come back I again? Have. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. Chili God signing out, Breast Fest 2016.